Ever since they took back the majority in the House, Republicans have been hard at work crafting legislation to address their party's policy priorities to own the libs. Take Congressman Matt Gates, Republican of Florida. In February, Gates introduced an amendment in the House Judiciary Committee that would require the Pledge of Allegiance before every meeting. He thought it would expose Democrats' lack of patriotism. But instead of taking the bait, Democrats agreed to do the pledge, and their only stipulation was that no one who supported the January 6th insurrection would be able to lead the pledge. The GOP response to that, well, was a lot of pearl clutching. I wonder who the gentleman thinks would invite someone convicted of insurrection. Well, I, I think we should all agree no one who has participated in insurrection should lead the Judiciary Committee in the Pledge of Allegiance. So it shouldn't be complicated to accept this well, amendment. Nobody who committed murder is going to be. Well, then you should vote for the this. amendment. Nobody who committed murder. We are not barbarians. Who do you think we are? Except watch. Who did Mr. Gates bring? He brought. Corey Beekman. Corey Beekman in 2019 was in a standoff with the Michigan police after he was arrested and charged with murder, assault with to in, in, intent to commit murder and two counts of felony firearm possession. The family of the victims said Mr. Gates doing that, it was like getting a dagger stuck in our heart again. We were infuriated when we first saw it. I was disgusted with the whole thing. That's why there's a trust deficit here. You pull off a public stunt to try and own the libs, and what you did was you brought in a guy who allegedly shot two people and killed one of them. That's where the trust deficit is. So you can play your games, conduct your stunts. We're here to get it done. And uh, this is what happens when Republicans run Congress.